Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rocio. My channel is Cocohama Stitchery and I am back with a little different content today. So I am reviewing the Dubco Factory Hoop Holder for Table is what the official name is. Um, for me it's kind of like a lap stand table stand for an embroidery hoop. I would like a couple of things noted before I begin. First, I am not personally affiliated by Dubco in any way, shape, or form. Um, this is a review done 100% by me just to help you all see if this is something that you would like to invest in. Um, I also, this is my first embroidery stand ever, so I can't do any comparisons to anything else that is currently on the market. And also, this was a Christmas present, very early Christmas present for me. Um, I did not personally purchase this. I asked for this a couple of months ago from my dad and he actually forgot that he had ordered it. So a box came and it was this and he had no idea what it was. So he gave it to me and asked me if I had ordered it <laughs> under his name. So Merry Christmas to me. <laughs> but that is the story on this. I went ahead and posted a picture of it on my Instagram, which is exactly the same as my YouTube channel. So I'll put it down here. And if you have any further questions or you need any further clarifications, you can always either drop a comment and I'll respond or you can send me a direct message on Instagram and I can get back to you there too. So let's begin. Number one, it is solid wood. It is very heavy, very sturdy. It has little non-slip grips, beautiful smooth wood finishing. And it has two knobs. So you have the principal knob that adjusts the neck. It is sturdy, it locks super good, and it's also very easy and ergonomic, so it's not hard to move the knob or to adjust the base of the stand. It also has another knob here at the neck, so I'm gonna flip it so you can see it. They're on opposite ends. And this one, also same. Super easy to move, very solid. I don't feel like it moves at all when I adjust it, and it's not difficult to adjust in any sort of way either. I know that the finishes are different colored wood finishings. I don't remember which one this is. I wanna say that it's the mahogany one, but I'm not quite sure. So now let me go and grab a hoop and show you all the embroidery stand in action. Hi everybody! So we are going to adjust here the base using the knob like I was talking to you about. Lift it up just a little bit and then secure it. Then I'm going to adjust the top so that I can get to it just a little bit easier. You can see there there's a little black knob in the center of the top that you can unscrew to allow that space to be able to put in your embroidery hoop. You can see here that it fits pretty tightly, so I'm gonna unscrew some more and it'll pop off a little bit, but that's more because I'm a novice user, not because of the product. So then I just clamp it shut, there's a spring in the middle, twist on the knob to get the hoop secure in there. Again, I'm struggling, not because of the product, but because I'm new. So you see that it's nice, tight, and secure there. You've got the owl forest embroidery piece right there too that you get a little glimpse of. So now I'm going to sit down in this chair here and adjust the table stand. So now I am nice and comfortable and I'm going to adjust it just to get it to the most perfect height and comfort level for stitching. We're all set, good to go. Two hand stitching, so I'm going to pretend because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> now, someone had asked about it being used as a lap stand, so I am going to place it in my lap and adjust it, and I'm going to switch the camera over here so you can see what that looks like too. So here we have it in my lap. It's really nice because it has two curvatures that fits really nicely in between the thighs. Um, I don't think that it was made for this, or maybe it was, but it just, it fits really nicely. 
um, nice and comfortable, ready to stitch, drum tight. There you go. I did have a couple of questions while I was editing. Um, one viewer asked, how does this fold? So it this is as tight as it's gonna fold because of this base, but so folding would be like this. Um, again, with the knob, you can adjust it. So to fold it, it would just be the reverse of opening the knob, closing it, it's completely secure, it doesn't move, and it's folded. So this particular stand, without the extension bars, the width of the spring action here in the frame is not large enough to be able to fit a Q-snap in here. It would just be for an embroidery hoop. Um, however, there are extender bars, which I'll insert the picture over here, and that will accommodate a Q-snap. I have them, I just have not put them to use yet, so I will not be reviewing that on this video, but hopefully in a future video, once I kind of get the hang and figure out the extension bars and Q-snaps and those things. Another post recording. So a couple of other questions came up while I was editing the video, one of them being price and the other how long it took to get the product. So according to Dubco Factory's website, they offer free international shipping for orders over 200 US dollars, so USD. Uh, in case the order is less than 200 USD, the cost for delivery is 30 USD to any country, according to their website. This does not include any customs fees. Um, in depending on what country you are in, they may you may have to pay customs on top of the product. Currently, the hoop holder is at $199. It says 15% off right now, and to have the additional arms for a Q snap or frame configuration, it's $227. That's as of today. I'm looking at the website, and that's what it's at. So overall. I am in love with it. Can I say that I have been using it forever? No. Do Am I an experienced embroidery hoop lap stand, table stand user? No. Am I a two hand stitcher? No. I do use embroidery hoops. I have my entire stitching life. Um, so I am excited to include this piece into my stitching routine and just a new learning curve. I am significantly impressed with the quality of the craftsmanship, the wood, the um, knobs, the finishings, the curvatures, just the quality overall is phenomenal. Um, I definitely see this piece as something that I will be using for a very long time and could possibly be an heirloom piece. So if someone asks you what you want for Christmas, your birthday, anniversary, um, Reach out to your family members, your grandchildren, your best friends, daughters, sons, fur babies, and I say that this would be a really good present. Um, keep in mind that for the delivery time, so I want to say that my dad probably ordered it end of August or mid-September, and it came in in mid-November, so it was approximately two months. Um, that includes the production time, international shipping from Russia to the United States, and any pandemic delays, which I thought was very fast. We didn't have any need to contact the company, so I can't speak to how fast that they respond to messages, but like I said, I mean, we ordered it, we got it in a couple of months, and I got it early on accident. If you like this review, give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you want to see some other videos that I put out here. Drop me a comment below if you have any other questions or if you have any requests. Um, I am all ears. I hope you all are spreading joy and positivity into the world. And I will see you all next time with whatever video I make. Bye!